I feel like our mantra should be, our kid will come home with empty lunch boxes. <laughs> That's Absolutely. always the goal, That's right? That's the goal, totally. <laughs> Students everywhere are heading back to class, and every parent knows there's nothing more frustrating than your child coming home with a full lunchbox because they didn't like what you packed. So joining us with tips to build a healthy and affordable and stress-free free lunchbox uh, so that your child will actually eat is uh, registered dietitian Rachel, Rachel Engelhart joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. Ooh, so you know it's so funny. I'm looking at this pretty display and the first thing I think of is on TikTok these moms that it looks like they spend hours on hours making the prettiest lunchboxes except yours are not as time consuming right. and they're checking all the boxes. Right. All right. Absolutely. And if that works for you by all means, enjoy yeah. that. <laughs> I am not one of those moms. I have three little ones, and so for me, packing lunch is like something that I really look forward to getting yeah. off my to-do list. So how do you make sure that um, both mama and, and the kid are happy, right? That it's stress-free stress for you, and the kid actually enjoys his lunch? Yeah, that's a great question. So I think about when we have babies, we say fed is best, right? Mm. Breastfed, formula fed, it doesn't right. matter because all that we care is that our kids are being nourished. And so that's the goal with lunches. The kids eat, my kids eat at least three meals a day, hopefully everyone's do, and a kajillion snacks. So yeah. there are a lot of opportunities for them to get the nutrients their bodies need to grow. And for me, I have control over breakfast and dinner, mm -hmm. as in they're in my house during that, so I can be more intentional about what I serve. Lunch is like, let's just get them out the door and let's make sure they have something in their tummies yeah. so that their brain has all the energy it needs to be able to help them concentrate in school. So let's, let's break down what you have in here because it, it actually looks really good too. Um, how, how do you approach it? Yeah, so I, first of all, I love bento boxes. I just think that we all have so much decision fatigue around food and mm -hmm. so if we have something that just has the compartments and all we have to do is figure out yeah. ways to fill the compartments, I'm all for that. Um, the components that we really want to make sure our meals the meals that we pack for our kids have are protein, fat, and carbohydrate. That's what's gonna keep them engaged in the digestive process, meaning right. that they're fuller longer, and so it's gonna sustain them longer. So, um, so yeah, so the approaches I took is like, I want an easy protein. One that's super easy is a hard boiled egg. It takes almost no time if you have any charcuterie or deli meat, cheese, that's always yeah. a really good option. Um, for a lot of schools, peanuts, it's a peanut-free zone, so right. no peanut butter. Not, there are um, seed butters, sunflower butter is a great option. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I just kind of really try to fill the different boxes with a variety of things. And so. this also helps with portion control uh, for what you're choosing to put in there. I wonder, um, <laughs> do you ever, can you, can you do any meal planning at all, or is this really, it's best to do day of, morning of, I guess? No, you absolutely can. I mean, I think it's all about what your kids will eat. So mm -hmm. I feel like I would, in my dreams, do an amazing <laughs> meal planning. You know, I love jars, but um, I don't think that they would get eaten. Ah. So instead, I try, choose to focus on the things that I think that will actually get eaten. So here I have a simple tortilla. My kids love tortillas. And I think that when you can roll things up and make yeah. different shapes, that's fun. There's, there's um, cream cheese and jelly in there. Nice. I have a hard-boiled egg for some protein and then cheese and crackers. And of course, a cupcake. I think it's really important that we normalize that dessert can be part of a balanced meal. Yeah. And I, I really love including that. Something sweet for them, mm -hmm. a special, you know, something to make their meal more exciting. Um, I also just want to say that having some cut up vegetables and produce can make it really easy. So here you see I have some skewers. Yeah. Now, skewers are great. I find that people are much more interested in eating things when they come on a little stick. Uh -huh. I would not, I will not be sending this to school with my three year old, just to be very clear. Probably so, not a good idea. <laughs> not a good idea. But older kids, absolutely, it yeah. works. And I think that's safe if you feel comfortable with it. But just kind of layering things on there can be a nice way to get more protein, mm -hmm. fruits, and vegetables. I think they're just more likely to eat on a stick. And I, we got to wrap, but you can get these bento boxes what, on Amazon? probably everywhere yeah everywhere Every, everywhere everywhere they sell lunch boxes these are yeah. an option and they're just so easy and they make it again they just kind of take all the choices out of it absolutely and uh, speaking of uh, easy and helping you with choices she's a good follow on Instagram y'all if you want to um, follow her there and of course if you want to shoot her an email there's her contact information so I'm not at this stage in life yet but I will be hitting you up yeah. <laughs> when I got to prepare lunch boxes for Please Bella do. thank you thank you all right 950